Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, we will look at the various input methods available in SpaceGas. SpaceGas can work with any set of consistent or mixed units. It is a good idea to set the desired units before starting a new job by selecting Units from the Structure menu and choosing a standard Imperial or Metric set or setting the units individually. By ensuring that the Convert option at the bottom is ticked, you can convert your current job to the new set of units and by ticking the Save option, you can save the current units as the default for all your new jobs. There are a number of ways to create a new space gas model. These include drawing it graphically, or using the Structure Wizard. You might also use a combination of the two methods by starting with the Structure Wizard and then editing or adding to the model graphically. Let's make a small graphical change to the model we just generated. We will select the nodes to be edited, click the right mouse button, select the desired tool from the pop-up menu, and then complete the procedure. This method also works with members and plates and is the recommended method for editing your model. It is not only very easy, but it also gives you access to most of the graphical editing tools in SpaceGas. Once you have a model in SpaceGas, you can zoom in and out at the mouse cursor location by rotating your mouse scroll wheel. Or you can rotate by dragging while holding down the left mouse button or pan by dragging while holding down the right mouse button. At any stage, you can return the model to a full-sized central position by pressing the right arrow key on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can click on any face of the view selector to quickly change to a common viewpoint. To find out about these and other mouse and keyboard shortcuts, go to the Space Gas Help menu, select Index, and then type Shortcuts into the search field. Datasheets are a third input method. There is a datasheet for each type of data that is contained in a Space Gas model. If we open a typical datasheet, we can see that they are a bit like Excel spreadsheets and are commonly used to view the data in your model or make changes to it. You can even make changes to multiple rows simultaneously by selecting them, right-clicking in any highlighted row in the column you want to change, and then making the change. This multi-row editing feature lets you make substantial changes to your model quickly and is one of the most useful features of the SpaceGas datasheets. In the next video, we will open an existing model, analyze it, and then examine the various ways of displaying and interpreting the results.